Hey Squeedle coming at you with a tactics talk. Let's talk scouts today. Specifically let's talk being the bottom tier scout. Here I am on steps, steeps, with my tier 6 Type 64 premium Chinese light tank. I am the only tier 6 in the entire battle. Actually I'm a tier 7 based on the way the matchmaker goes. And that's important to the discussion because a lot of people have issues with how to run light tanks in a battle where they are no kidding at the bottom of the barrel and typically you are very low down but the type 64 is probably just about the weakest tank in this entire battle the question then becomes what do I do to be effective what do I do to be effective alright so we're gonna call this one eyes forward call it eyes forward what I'm going to do initially is move up here to and there are several of these bushes over here move up to a bush right about here and I'm going to get my binoculars going. Now I run a camo net and binoculars on a lot of my lower tier scouts. A lot of other good players will tell you not to do that. But I like it because of this reason here. Now what am I doing sitting in this bush? I am looking to punish any of their TDs or tanks that decide to come up on this little ridge and somehow expose themselves. And because they are pretty well inside my view distance, I may actually be able to burn through or see them moving around. The other thing is what you just saw with the RU. Let's talk real quickly about initial options with light tanks here and why I actually chose this position. You can go over here. Not a great idea. There's one bush here that a light tank can exploit, but you're sort of trapped and not really a great idea to bring your light tank into the heavy brawling area. I have other videos showing you how to do things like that. I chose not to because this one is at the very bottom of the barrel and its offensive capability is pretty low. The other option is to, and pretty standard one, is to come over here and troll around because this is in counter mode and look for their tanks coming this way. Absolutely valid. There's also a ridge here. The Bulldog seems to be doing that, which is very similar to what I'm doing. But I could get here very quickly from where I spawned, and now I am sort of controlling, not through fire, but through vision, what's going on in the middle of the map. I don't expect a huge rush, but that RU probably got lit, and he probably had his sixth sense go off, and now he's wondering why he's lit. And whatever it was he was planning on doing, pushing in or doing something like that, he has changed his mind, and now he's getting out of there. He actually took a hit. So thank you very much. There's a guy. How about we hit him? Nope, and that's what I was looking for, to see if somebody could punish him as he pops up there. Unfortunately, nobody was ready. There goes the RU. Notice I am not firing. Why? Because more than likely they have a scout or somebody with eyes in here as well, and if I fire, I lose bush camo and potentially get seen. Same thing applies here. I see him going across. If there's already in the game, which there happens to be, they may be able to get some shots off my spots. And I did not see that scorpion, by the way. It's probably the M41 that's trolling around on the right. And he's doing the same thing on the right side of the map over on the east for us. Controlling the center of the map through vision and making sure that nothing pushes up. Now, I don't expect anyone to come up to those rocks right there in front of me. But once again, I may see somebody crossing, and I may give some lights to somebody to get some shots. You can see the T-32 moving up to the JT and the AMX. He gets beat up pretty bad, but now we got a bit of a push going on on the west side. So I'm noticing that and saying, all right, we are controlling about 50% of the map. That's good. Let's move forward. I don't know where every single one of them is, but I'm pretty certain that there's no one up on those ridges because I kept lighting them, and they kept backing up. So I take a bit of a risk and I go eyes forward. I move a little bit closer to what's going on here. And I can see that our push on the west is working and we're doing fine over on the east, over at the cap. And now I want to push my vision control a little bit forward. So I haven't taken a shot. I haven't really got engaged. But I have helped the team by making sure nothing's going on in the middle. And we'll just wait for a moment. You can see if you look over on the west that the forces are pushing around the corner which means I need to get them some shots. See how their team is falling back and we are slowly gobbling up more and more map which is going to allow us to get up forward and allow me to get my eyes forward get some more spots for these guys. Scorpion G is hurt, now he's gone and I make a move. I see that T-54 Mod 1 moving up so let's get up there and help that guy out with some vision. And I'm just using cover as best I can, come up behind that rock behind that bush, dive down, and then we're going to use this little ridge right here to protect ourselves because I'm a tier 6 tiny little tank. 
And I've got all those guys coming around on the west side, and I want to give them some shots. Hey, look at this, a very lightly armored tank. Let's come over here and get some shots on him. There's one. I don't want to do this too long, and I'll back out. He's spinning around. Ooh, risky. I'm glad he didn't snap me. Now, I'm going to try to come around here on this bush, and I may have gone a little bit... Not, I may not have waited long enough because there are some guys there, but I'm also kind of coming around the edge of that bush. When I topped over, I wasn't really fully behind that bush, so I probably gave that guy an opportunity. Plus, he knew I was there. And now, look, we've got them all stuffed in the corner, so I'm going to go eyes forward, move up, use this terrain, stay down low. Let's go see if we can get behind this bush. Okay, there's some guys there. And I know that they are all stuffed in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a shot. I don't see anybody poking up over. I'll dodge behind this rock, and now they're in a herd status, so I am going to take a shot on him. I believe I missed, or maybe I didn't shoot. Either way, I wasn't reloaded. And now backing up, just make sure I don't get killed, and then the last thing I'll do is go eyes forward again. And obviously they are spotted by the 54 and everything else at this point. And then this is kind of an important thing here. Obviously they are getting rolled up. Now it's time to get in there and get your hit points. You're a fast little tank. You can roll right in there, get some easy shots, add some experience and some damage and credits to your game. Just keep on working this Revelor, Reveloy, Revelors, <laughs> and then we're done there. So that ends up being about a 2,700 spotting damage game, about 900 damage, as you can see up there, 988. And that's just one of the examples of how you can take a bottom tier light tank and actually contribute quite a bit to the battle and be effective yourself getting in there doing some damage and doing some spotting damage and with 2700 spotting that's that's good enough for a lot of the stug and htc t28 htc missions i hope this helped take care